The first one, other character I, who came out the, uh, during the one minute was, was Krusty the Clown. Now, Krusty the Clown was based on a boz, the Bozo the Clown I had in Chicago, uh, which was done by an actor by the name of Bob Bell. And he had sort of a raspy voice like that. You know, I, that was one of the shows I enjoyed watching as a kid was the Bozo the Clown show. So when Matt, uh, and Matt, Matt had based him on a, car, a, a clown he had known when he was growing up in Portland called Rusty the Clown. But he was completely different. He was like kind of a Christian clown or something like that. That, and um, and he was a very nice clown. But he took the name Rusty and turned it to Krusty. So anyway, I remember Bob Bell's voice, and you just do it things doing these things on the fly. So I just did that. That was the voice, and it and it, the the um, writers loved that voice because. It's sort of a clowny voice, but it's also sort of real cynical. <laughs> it's a very cynical voice. It sounds like a, from a guy who's been around, smokes too much, and lived you know high life, and yet he's a kiddie, you know, kid sh show host. And also, it was a chance for the Simpson world to kind of take a shot at show business, and, and the writers to take shots at like comedians or TV show hosts that they've written for. You know, they can sort of put it all into Krusty, or legendary, you know. Like, Krusty's been, like, compared to, like, even though he's a kiddie show, has been, like, compared to Jackie Gleason or, you know, Milton Berle or something like, you know, the old-time comics who, you know, got to have, you know, uh, everything done, you know, just right. And, and at the same, and also steeped in Jewish kind of, Jewish show business and all that kind of stuff. He's, he's like, he's sort of like, yeah, he's like, like really sort of like Milton Berle, but like a kiddie show host, so it's really kind of funny. I think for a while they tried to do like Krusty out of his makeup and stuff, but they said just leave him, that's, he's that all, way all the time. Originally, the idea was that Bart like idolized Krusty and, and Matt designed him to look like Homer, and he was going to do something where it turned out that Homer really was Krusty, but then he abandon that very quickly. Uh, but subconsciously, that's what it is. It's sort of like Homer is like really sort of subconsciously Bart like idolizes Homer. But he can't really, so he does it through, you know, through the, this kiddie show host.